Welcome to today's strength and conditioning class. You will need a light pair of dumbbells. You will also need a chair with preferably no arms. Make sure it's sturdy, it's not on wheels. Um, it shouldn't be able to slide anywhere. And make sure you have a bottle of water nearby so you can hydrate whenever you need to. So I'm gonna warm you guys up right now. Okay, so let's just talk about the seated position. You want your knees stacked over your ankles and your shoulders stacked over your hips. You want a nice long spine. Let's start out by taking a deep breath, inhaling, exhaling. One more time, inhale, and exhale. Okay, we're gonna start off by just marching. March, march, march. Keep pulling those knees up and pump those arms. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall, pulling those shoulders back and lifting that chest. Okay, from here, we are going to go into a heel dig. So you want to pull your toe back and dig your heel. Dig, dig. Now let's swing the arms. Sit up nice and tall. So kind of warming up those shoulders, waking up those shins and hamstrings. Still focusing on a nice tall posture. Okay, from here, you're gonna hold those arms up, shoulder height. We're gonna do cross body mountain climber. Okay, so you're bringing your knee to the opposite elbow. So I'm demoing all these exercises seated first, and then I'm gonna get, give you the option to do them standing. But since this is a chair class, I'm showing you all the moves on the chair. Keep going. We are gonna do some push-ups. So you can go find a wall, if you wanna do them up against the wall. Your arms should be a little bit below shoulder height. Your hips should be straight. So I'm gonna pretend the back of my chair is a wall. My stomach is drawn in. My elbows are gonna skim my sides. And I'm gonna exhale and push away. Now my shoulders are pushed away from my ears. Inhale. Exhale, press back. Inhale. Exhale, push it back. Now I want you to keep squeezing those shoulder blades as you do your push-ups. Keep those abs tight. Keep looking straight ahead. Let's do three more. Two more. And one. Okay, good job. Now, you're gonna bring one knee to the side. Reach your arm up. We're gonna do lateral flexion. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, draw in. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, let's do the other leg. So you're gonna turn that knee out. Shoulders are squared, hips are squared. Reach your arm up. Side bend, extend. Two, three, four, draw her in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, intro to burpees, okay? You're gonna put your hands down on your chair, shoulder over the wrist on both sides. Take it back so you're in a high plank like you're gonna do a push-up. You're only here for a second. Draw the abs in. Bring the left leg in, right leg in. Stand up tall. Reach your arms overhead. Do it again. Left, right, left, right. Reach it up. Squeeze those glutes. 
Step back, back, in, in, reach. Back, back, in, in, press. Let's do it again. Back, back, in, in. Okay, switch lead legs. Take that right leg back. Back, back, in, in, press. Back, back, in, in, press. We have three more. Abs are tight. Two more. Last time. Okay, good job. I have to admit someone in. Okay, so we have the option to do that whole sequence standing, okay? So I'm gonna quickly show you seated again since we did the first set seated. Then I'm gonna go right up to standing on everything, okay? So everything is going to be 30 seconds, ready? So seated, march, standing march, let's go. Come on, pump up those arms. I want you to control your lowering of the leg. Try to bring your knee up to hip height. I want you to stand up tall. Pull those shoulders back. Lengthen through the spine. Okay, now we're gonna do a heel dig. So you're gonna have to see, this is the option, sit it. Heel dig. Okay, now I'm gonna take it to standing. Go. So you're making kind of like a little L with the arms. Keep pulling that toe back. Keep those shoulder blades nice, the muscles between the shoulder blades engaged. So scapular retraction. Keep going. So try to sneak that cardio in at the beginning. And then we'll go into some strain. So it's a little combination of both. Okay, now we're gonna do the seated cross body mountain climber. Arms held, shoulder height. You're drawing the knee to the opposite side elbow. Okay. Head plank, knee to opposite elbow. Let's do it. Keep going. Keep drawing in the abs. The other alternative is this. If the, if the pressure on your shoulders bothers you, you can do it standing. Okay, so those are your three options. Keep the gaze forward. Keep drawing the belly button to the spine. Breathe, breathe, every rep. Five seconds, four, three, two, one. We have those push-ups. Go find your area on the wall or a counter in your kitchen or something. I'm gonna do mine at the chair. Okay, if you do it at the gym, make sure you share this and slide. Ready, let's go. 30 seconds. Down, exhale, push. Inhale, exhale. Okay, we have 15 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna work on those obliques, but we're still gonna get that heart rate up. So, this one, if you wanna stay seated. Okay, those of you who wanna stand, go. Side bend, side bend, lateral flexion. This is a 30 second move. So a little bit of dynamic balance. Little bit of core, little bit of shoulder work. You're resisting gravity, you're pressing that arm overhead. You're working your hip flexor. A lot of things going on in this one. Keep drawing in. Okay, we're gonna do the same on the other side. Set yourself up and go. Exhale, inhale. And really try to control the leg. Try not to just flop it down. 
Get a little stretch in the side and then contract. Almost there. Okay, one more move. We got that burpee. All righty. All right, let's go. Left leg lead. Back, back, in, in. Go at your own pace. If you want to do a little kind of like a run, 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 in, in. Okay, we're gonna switch lead legs, so think quick. Come on, let's train the brain, so. Slow it down if you need to. Just keep the shoulders over the wrist, it's really important. Okay, we have one final round, okay? So, we're gonna, this is our longest round. This is 45 seconds on each thing. Okay, we're gonna go in three. Two seated march if you're sitting. Let's go. Okay, let's do little intervals here. This is a moderate pace. In five seconds, we're gonna go as fast as we can go. Go, but keep the control. Come on, use those arms. Control those legs. Back to your moderate pace. This is 15, and I don't need slow, I need moderate. Okay, heel dig. So you can do this seated. We already did two other sets seated. Okay, in five more seconds, we're gonna pick up the pace. Let's go. Seated, standing, go. 
Moderate pace. Think about bringing the rib cage to the hip bone. You can hold on to your chair if you feel more comfortable. Get a little stretch at the top. Pick up the pace, let's go. Pull, pull, pull. Moderate pace. All right, let's do the other side. <clears throat> Set yourself up and go. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Okay, let's pick up the pace, go. nice and tall in your chair. Ankles underneath the knees, shoulders stacked over the hips. Do not lean up against the back of the chair, okay? Please don't. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend the leg. Now you can slide back a little bit, but don't use the chair for back support. I want you to extend, point, flex, and down, okay? So squeeze your quad. We're gonna do 10 on the right, let's go. Flex, point, flex, down, up, point, Flex, so we're working on ankle mobility, calf, any in, um, anterior tibials, your, your shin. Continue to sit up nice and tall. Really important to make sure that you strengthen especially that shin, because that helps you to prevent shuffling around. Because if you're not able to pull your toe up, and you're walking over an unlevel surface on the sidewalk or a carpet that's kind of poking up a floor, um, a floor mat, you can get caught and go flying. And that's when you can get into some real trouble. So we really want to keep that shin nice and strong. And we want to keep the ankle mobile also. Okay, we did 10 on that side. Okay, so that worked your core a little, you gotta be mindful of your posture. Let's do the other side, ready? So flex, point, flex, and tap. Up, point, flex. Really squeeze out your quadricep. Keep those abs tight. Breathe on each rep. Good, keep moving. Three, two, and one. Okay, 
Beautiful job. Now I'm gonna give you two options on the next uh, strength move. You're gonna hip hinge. You're gonna push your palms back and then come up and make a Y with your thumbs up. Thumbs pointing to the rear of the room, palms pressing up. So if you add the standing movement, it's gonna work your hamstrings, okay? Um, and it's also gonna work your lower back. So legs are hip width apart. Let me show you the front view. Okay, and now the rear view. I mean, um, uh, the profile. Here. Thumbs back. Okay, let's do 10 of them. Ready? And go. Nice neutral spine. Flat back. Exhale, come up. Squeeze the muscles in the mid back. Lower back, push it back. Keep those knees soft. Go for that hip extension. We do a lot of sitting, so if you can get out of that chair and do this exercise standing, it's much better for you. Keep your gaze somewhat forward. Stretch out the front of the hips, squeeze your glutes. Keep those abs nice and tight. I know there's so many things to think about. Take it back. Exhale up, inhale down. Okay, pretty sure this is the last one. All right, nice job. Okay, we're gonna do a reverse fly next. That is another um, exercise, that is for your posture. So, again, I'm always gonna give you the seated option because this is a chair class. But you know I would prefer to see you standing. So, profile. So my elbow's slightly bent, I'm gonna come up. So my elbow's are shoulder height as I'm folded over. Notice my back is neutral. I'm, I don't look like this when I'm doing my reverse flies. I personally think it's more comfortable to stand up and do this. So, like I said, if you have the, if you can stand, stand. You're always better off. So we're gonna practice that hip hinge with that neutral spine. Don't let your shoulders roll forward. Stomach tight. Ten of them. Ten. Exhale. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Nice job, have a seat. Okay, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna punch diagonally across, okay? Sit up tall and go. Push, pull, push, pull, that's one. Keep that belly button pointing forward. Try to just have your rib cage up, rotated. Four, and again, you don't, have, you don't have to use dumbbells. You can just kind of throw those punches without dumbbells. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, holding your dumbbells. You're gonna either do a complete sit to stand, so you're gonna come up, Sit down, curl. Actually, I'm gonna have you curl at the top and then come down. Okay, the other option is to do partial. So if your knees bother you doing that, you can go down. So push your hips back, make sure you're pressing those hips back. Sit up tall, 10 of them, let's go. Down, exhale, inhale, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Nice job, you guys. Oh, I want to do another set so bad. Okay, let's shoot quickly. Let's do another set of everything. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we're gonna press back, go into a Y. Remember this one? So we're gonna do 10 of them. You can do, you have the option to do it seated, ready? Press back, nice flat back. Take it back. Exhale, two. Squeeze those glutes, three. Work those hamstrings, get that stretch. Four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. Okay, reverse fly. Grab your dumbbells. Let's go into that hip hinge. Bring those dumbbells together. Reverse fly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Cross punches. Now again, it's optional. You don't have to use your dumbbells. If you feel like you get more out of it, just keep throwing the punches. That's cool. Ready? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, all right, Ooh, let's hold those dumbbells in our hands. We, got, we have our sit stance. Okay, so you can either sit all the way down, come up bicep curl, or squat. Let's go, one, exhale, two, three, pull those shoulders back, four, squeeze those glutes, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Beautiful job, you guys. Have yourselves a sip of water and we are going to stretch it out. Nice, nice work. All right, let's sit in the chair. Let's try to bring down those heart rates. Let's take a deep breath. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, fold over, grabbing your shins, resting your chest on your thigh, letting your head hang heavy. Enjoying that lower back stretch. Now you can stay here. Um, if you wanna go a little deeper into your lower back stretch, you can bring those knees apart a little bit further and then place your hands in between your legs and let your head just hang heavy. Focus on the breath. Okay, we're gonna slowly start to come up out of this. Slowly ease your way up so you don't get dizzy. One vertebrae at a time. Come all the way up. All right, from here, let's extend that right leg so your knee is nice and straight. Pull the toe up. You're sitting at the edge of the chair. Okay, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. Now let me show you my profile. Um, I want your back to stay neutral. I want you to slide your hand down your thigh. Now, a lot of people will look like this when they're doing the hamstring stretch. I would like to see you lengthen through the spine and kind of think about pressing your hips to the back of the rock. And as you're doing this, I want you to bring those thumbs, point them forward, and then pull the arms behind you. It's like, kind of like airplane arms. So you're getting a nice stretch through the biceps, the shoulders, the chest, focusing on your breathing. Start to come up. Okay, let's switch legs. So extend the opposite leg. Pull that toe up. Keep your knee straight but soft. You don't want to lock it out. Take a deep breath in here. Slide the hand down your thigh or rest your hand on your thigh, wherever you feel comfortable. And I want you to just focus on the breathing. So with the breathing, you'd like to do like maybe three to five seconds on the inhale, three to five seconds on the exhale. So nice long breaths. Okay, now let's turn the body all the way to the side. So your 
feet, your toes, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your eyes are looking straight ahead. Hang your right butt cheek off the chair a little bit and then pull the leg back. Pull it back, back, back. So you're getting a hip flexor stretch. Now you might not look like this. You might look, look like this. You might not even be able to get into this position. If you can't get into this position, you're gonna simply turn that knee out to the side, sir, in like 90 degrees, okay? And you're just gonna do a reach up. So we can either do prayer hands, okay? In your crescent lunge, or you can reach your arms all the way up. So the idea is to try to get your shoulders to stack over your hips so you can get a nice stretch through the hip. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and slowly lower your right hand onto the, onto the chair, and then go right into a side bend. So you're lifting the rib cage away from that hip bone. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and exhale as you bring those arms and legs forward. And now we're gonna just walk ourselves over to the other side. Take that leg back, hang your butt cheek a little bit off the chair. You want the other thigh to be supported with the chair. We're gonna go right into prayer hands. So, so, so you might look like you're leaning forward. You wanna to try to pull your shoulders over your hips. You can stay here or you can sweep those arms up in a mini back bend into a crescent lunge. Take a nice deep breath, inhale. Exhale, let's go right into our side bend. Take another deep breath. Exhale out. Take another deep breath, inhale. Bring that leg in and then exhale and come forward. Okay, from here, we are gonna take a nice deep breath, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale down, sweep it one more time. Exhale down, namaste. 